sanctuary of Mount Pilgrim Baptist Church, where Reverend Walter L. Ingram Jr. is pastor. We invite you to worship with us now as Reverend Ingram brings us.
of the Lord is amongst us. Pastor Ingram's in his absence from us. 
to the officers of this church to the music ministry that is singing to the glory of our God to the Russians who are posted near and far to all of my father's children Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. If there be one here who know not the Lord Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sin, I especially bring greetings to you Amen. from my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. My prayer is that before you have left this place that you would have seen your way to come upon the Lord's side. If you have your Bibles, we would ask that you would turn to the gospel recorded by Matthew asking that you would go to chapter 21. The gospel recorded by Matthew chapter 21. Come on, brother. Read your Good morning, Mount Pilgrim. As the preacher said, the scripture will be read out of Matthew, the 21st chapter, verses 1 through 11. May God add a blessing to the hearer and the preacher of this preacher word. And the word begins to say, and when they drew now to Jerusalem and were come to Bethpage or to the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus to disciples, saying unto them, Go ye into the village or against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a coat with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them. And straightway he went. He sent them, and all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughters of Zion, behold, the king cometh unto, unto thee meek, and sitting on an ass, a coat, and a foal of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded, and brought the ass and coat, and put on them their coats, and they set him thereon. And verily, great multitudes spread at garments in the way. Others cast down branches from the trees, and straw, and strolled them in the way. And the multitude that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we had come into the, to Jerusalem. All the city was moved saying, who is this? And this is where we don't hold our peace. And the multitude said, this Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, of gather league. We don't hold our peace here because he's here to preach word. Amen. God may old thy great Jehovah. All right, all right. Pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak. But thou art mighty. Yeah. 
hold me with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Open now the crystal fountain which the healing waters do flow. Let the fiery cloud pillow lead me all of my journey. Yes, sir. Strong deliverer. Strong deliverer. Be thy steel. My strength. And shield. If you would lend your voices and sing this hymn. Guide me. yourself that you was in need of some helpers when when you had a toothache and it just wouldn't stop aching it got so bad to you just you just needed some help you needed a dentist to do something in your mind in that time you needed a helper yeah 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 there are times when you 
when your eyes had cataracts on them and it seemed like the older you get something started happening to your eyes during that time. You needed an eye doctor, maybe you needed an optometrist, but what you needed was a heifer. Yeah, 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 when, when, when you broke the bone in your body, when, when your legs and your knees and your, all your back all was in great pain, you, you needed a doctor who could deal with bones and limbs and joints. So you might have needed a doctor, but the main thing is that you needed a helper. You needed somebody to help you. Now, I'm just trying to get you somewhere. You needed somebody to help you. You needed somebody to help you when, 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 when you seemed like you were about to lose your mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't know which way to turn, which way to go. You, you needed a mind doctor. You might need a psychiatrist or a psychologist, but what you needed was you needed a help. Yeah, yeah, when, 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 when sin was bounding you up, about to take control of your life. But what you needed was a savior. What you needed was a helper. What you needed was one Jesus. Woo! The Christ. I come by to tell you that Jesus needs a helper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is Palm Sunday. Yeah, this, this is that Sunday when Jesus came riding victoriously into the city of Jerusalem. Yeah, this Palm Sunday was five days before the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus on Palm Sunday, he needed some. Help us. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needed someone to go get him a ride. He needed somebody to celebrate with him when he came riding in Jerusalem. He, he needed some helpers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jesus, now. Jesus, Jesus. J Jesus needs some helpers, huh? And, and, and I'm looking at you now. And, and sometimes I look at me, and, I, and the only thing I know is that Jesus needs some helpers. Huh? When you look at the text, see, I know, I, I know y'all think Jesus is a omnipotent, all powerful, omniscient. Huh? Know everything. Omnipresence everywhere. But I still tell you he needs some helpers. Huh? In the text that was read, huh? in the first verse, he needed some disciples. Huh? He called them some disciples. Why? Because Jesus needs some helpers. He sent the disciples to get him a ride into Jerusalem. Huh? So, 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 so somebody had to go and get him a ride. But the Persians that went to get him a ride, when they got over there, they found out that Jesus needed somebody to speak on his behalf. So, 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 so right there you see, he also needed a mock piece over there when they got there where the donkey, where the ass, or where the little coat was. He, he needed a helper, and, and, and then he needed some helper to bring they're back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. can see that. Now. He, he brought all them back. And then when they got it back, he still wasn't ready to ride. <laughs> huh? Y'all living in y'all Bible? Huh? Yeah, right, 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 right. They had to put some stuff. They had no saddle so he could ride comfortably. So they took off their clothes and put their clothes on the back so Jesus could get up on there and ride because he needed some help. Huh? Yeah, he needed some helpers. Today, Jesus needs hmm? some helpers. That's what he needs right now. He needs some. He needs some helpers. You know, Jesus still needs rides. Yeah, Jesus. 
Jesus need a ride. He, he needs somebody. To, you know why he need why he need a ride? He got places to go. Huh? I mean, if you ain't got nowhere to go, you don't really need no car when you ain't got nowhere to go. Now you don't really need a car when you got somewhere to go. When you at the house and everything, you ain't going nowhere. You don't, it might be out there, but you don't need the car. But Jesus I always need a ride. It ain't always got to be you that ride him, but he always need a ride. Huh? Yeah. Jesus has to go to visit the schoolhouse. Then sometimes Jesus has to go to the work environment. Huh? Sometimes Jesus needs to be at the ball game. But he needs a ride. Now sometimes he goes to the park. Sometimes you go to the hospital. Sometimes you go to the nursing room. But he needs a ride. Huh? So that means he needs a helper. Huh? That means he needs a helper. So now the question is, where does, where, where does the Lord get a ride from? Uh, or should I say, who does the Lord Ride with. Huh? Maybe, maybe, you see, you see, you see, the Lord can't just ride with anybody. The Lord needs certain people in order for him to have a ride. Huh? Because you see, the Lord rides in the heart. Of men and women, yeah. boys and girls, yeah. he rides in the heart of us. In the temple of God, he rides in the heart. But now you see, he needs some helpers. Yes, sir. Because see, somebody that there, there has to be a preacher, All right. or there has to be a teacher. All right. Uh, a Sunday school teacher, a Bible study teacher. Yeah. There, 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 there has to be a righteous person somewhere yeah. who's preparing the hearts of men, women, boys, and girls so that Jesus can have a ride. Yeah. Huh? Why? Because he needs some helpers. Huh? It's Palm Sunday. Jesus needs some helpers. Yeah, Jesus needs some help. He, 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 he needs some sanctified and holy folks. Uh, sanctified means you've been set aside. Uh, when he set you aside, he went to his father to get a mansion for you. So now that you ain't sanctified. He don't think you a saint. I'm going to tell you now. Ain't nothing but saints going to help. Huh? I hear y'all quiet. But ain't nothing but saints going to help. God set aside his folk to go to heaven. If you ain't with them set aside folk, you ain't going to heaven. Huh? Oh, yeah. When when God sent his son Jesus, when he sent him down here to die for us, when we accept him as Savior, Huh? He imputed righteousness unto us and set us aside. He said, if you save, you set aside. If you save now. Now if y'all quiet because you ain't saved. If you set aside, you sanctified, because God done sanctified you. He done set you. I know what y'all problem. Now what y'all problem is. What y'all problem is is y'all think. These folks in here that saying they saint. Y'all think they lying. Because y'all know they done did something they ain't had no business doing. But because they did something they ain't had no business doing, that don't make them not be a saint. God set them aside. God has set us aside. We ain't perfect in every way. We have not reached perfection. We not have reached maturity yet. But we have been set aside. We want some holy folks to go to work for us. Because uh, he had to be inside of us holy folks, us sanctified folks. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 
us righteous folks, not self-righteous now, but righteous folks. Righteous who should be, we have been imputed to have righteous because God the Father said, you righteous enough, so you go ahead, you, you let Jesus rise. Because Jesus got somewhere to go. <laughs> and he need a ride to take him where he's going. Y'all hear me? Jesus need a ride and he ride in the midst of heart. So what all of us need to be doing is ride Jesus Come on. And then we need to be prepared for other folks so they can ride Jesus too. Huh? Yeah. Jesus needs to go somewhere. Huh? There are some hungry folks that Jesus needs to go feed. There are some folks that ain't got no water, but they thirsty. Jesus needs to go see those folks. There's some folks that naked and ain't got no clothes. Jesus needs to take them folks some clothes. Jesus, Jesus I said, know that there's somebody is sick. Now, Jesus needs to go by and doctor on them folks because they sick. Somebody done got locked up in jail. Some of them deserve to be there. Some of them don't. But somebody needs to go see by them. And Jesus is the one that needs to go see by them. But Jesus needs some helpers because he need a ride. And he can only ride if he got a helper. Hey, y'all listen. <laughs> See? <sighs> Jesus got to go with them folks at. Them folks that don't smell right. Them folks who drink too much liquor. What about smoke too much dope? Jesus need to go see by them folks right there. And he ain't got nowhere to go except that you ride him. That's why he needs some helpers to ride him. When he get ready to go to the nursing home, he needs some helpers. Huh? Yeah. When he get ready to go by the prison, he needs some helpers. When he get ready to feed the hungry, he needs some helpers. Oh yeah, when he want to go down in the red light district, he needs some helpers. Huh? When he want to go to the brothel, he needs some Helpers. When he need to go to the crack house, he needs some helpers. When he wants to go to the liquor house, you know, the shock house uh, that's open on today, you know, he needs some helpers. And he ain't got no helpers but us. We, we are the only helpers that he has. Somebody got to go by there and take the word of the living God by there. Somebody got to carry the good news and he ain't got nobody to carry the news but us. Huh? Look, Jesus needs a ride to church. Je Je listen, Jesus needs a ride to church. Huh? Yeah. On Sunday morning, this, this morning, Jesus had to ride to church with somebody. Because huh? see, when I got here, the door was already on the So that means Jesus had already got here. Yeah, whoever unlocked the door, him and Jesus, or her, Jesus in him, they were waiting on another helper. Because another helper had to, had, Jesus had to, another helper had to bring Jesus too, because you know, huh? Somebody had to administrate, making sure we get our temperature took. So Jesus had to have a ride to church, because somebody had to get their hands clean. So Jesus needed a ride to church. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's because so Jesus had to come to church with somebody because cause there was a need for the ushers, and ushers are at the door, and they have to usher people into the presence of God. So, so when they when they met at the door, Jesus was coming in the door, and Jesus met them at the door. Now, when you got Jesus moving around like that, you got something going on in your church. Uh, there, there had to be some greetings around somewhere. So they had to give out some garden greetings to help get folks excited about being in the house of the Lord. Uh, I, I want you to know that there had to be some, some prayer warriors here. Uh, they had to pray some powerful prayer so that people could do what it was that they do when they come in church. They had to have a choir. Uh, they could sing some soul-stirring music. Uh, they had to have a preacher uh, who could preach some soul-saving gospel. I come out and tell you uh, that Jesus... Jesus, uh, Jesus needs some 
He needs somebody to come by just to help him along the way. But he stopped and he looked around and he saw that there was a sad condition that mankind found himself in. He looked and he saw that we were unworthy to take him for a ride. He came because we were under the penalty of sin, which is death and going to hell. He came because we were wrapped up and all tangled up, all bundled up in sin, and we just couldn't shake ourselves loose. He came because we needed some help in order that we could become helpers. As he came, I, I can see him now uh, coming down through 40 and two generations. Uh, he's coming uh, from old man Abraham. Uh, come all the way to Bethlehem. Uh, where he was born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. Uh, I can see him uh, as he came on down uh, and began to work for the Lord. Uh, he started uh, developing him some heifers. Uh, he called uh, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, because uh, he needed, uh, he needed some heifers. Uh, he needed some heifers uh, because there was a blind man uh, uh, down by the side of the road. Uh, he needed some heifers uh, because the blind man uh, needed help uh, to get from where he was uh, to where Jesus was. Uh, he needed some help. Uh, because out there somewhere uh, there was a woman uh, with the issue of blood. Uh, she was pressing, uh, pressing her way to him. And, and when she touched uh, the hem of his garment, uh, something happened uh, in her life. Uh, there was a man uh, uh, at the pool uh, and he found that uh, he had been there uh, for 38 long years. But then Jesus said, Will you be made whole? Take up your bed and walk. This man started walking. Cause something had happened to him. I can see Jesus. I can see him now. As he's in the upper room. He started praying and blessing the elements. I can see Jesus uh, cultivating some helpers uh, who are going to help him uh, in the day to come uh, that they might pet that back pet the church of the living God. Uh, I see him uh, in the garden uh, on his way uh, to carry cross. Uh, they came looking for Jesus, huh? but they couldn't find Jesus. Huh? So Jesus had to give them some help because huh? they needed some help huh? in order to find him. Huh? Then they came to take him, huh? but they couldn't take him because huh? they didn't have no power. Huh? So Jesus huh? gave them power so they could take him on back to the sand in your council. But now I can see Jesus going up God got his heel. Huh? Something strange happened out there. I saw him stumble huh? because he was weak. Huh? And then I saw them say, hey, Simon, go, go pick up that cross. Cause Jesus, he need a helper. He need somebody to help him carry the cross. Huh? That's why the hymnologist wrote, huh? but Jesus bear the cross alone. And all the world go free. No, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. And there's a cross for you. And a cross for you. Yes, I can see him now. He got up there on top of God, got the heel. He got up there on Carrie's heel. But he had a problem. Huh? He needed some helpers. Huh? He needed some helpers huh? to nail his hands. Huh? 
He needed some help uh, to remember his feet. Uh, he needed some help uh, to hang him up between earth and glory. Uh, I tell you, uh, he needed some help For a while he was up there, he found out that there was some more folks <laughs> right there. While he was crucified, he decided and he saw. He thought that it was time for prayer. Jesus had to ride a ride when he's going to a place where prayer needs to be done. He declared, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. He prayed for them. And he prayed for you. Yeah. And he prayed for me. Because uh -huh. he knew uh, yeah. that we needed some help yeah. on this journey. He looked at his mother and looked at his son, the, the disciple that he loved. Said, woman, behold your son. Establishing a relationship. Because uh, we need help. Uh, the son he said, Behold your mother. Uh, it's their relationships. Uh, Jesus need, uh, he needs some helpers uh, who willing to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Uh, he needs some helpers uh, who willing to love their neighbor uh, and thyself. Uh, he needs some helpers uh, so that they will love. Uh, one another uh, as he has loved us uh, and is giving his life but not only that as he was hanging there there was another man on the cross uh, who cried out uh, because he uh, he needed help uh, he said Lord remember me uh, Lord remember me uh, Lord uh, I need some help. I might not be no help for nobody else, Lord. But right now, Lord, I, I need some help. <laughs> and the Lord said, I, today, 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 you shall be with me uh, in paradise. Uh, but he was hanging there. But in one thing, he didn't need no help to do. Uh, Cause I just heard him. He said it is finished. Yeah. Hung his head in the lock of his shoulders. Gave up the ghost. He died. Yeah. Died. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Died. Yeah. Died so you could get some help. Yeah. Died so I could get some help. Yeah. He died. Yeah. He died. But yeah. well, after he had died. He did need some help uh, while hanging on the cross. Uh, couldn't bring his own self down. Uh, that's when Joseph and Nicodemus uh, came back to be helpers. Uh, they was on the council. Uh, Jake Nicodemus came by night. Uh, but saying he didn't know who they were uh, as far as follow Jesus. But they buried the body of Jesus. Buried him in a borrowed grave uh, but early 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 on a third day morning I got up all power in his hand and because he got up we can get up uh, we ain't got to die right now uh, but we can give Jesus we can give Jesus a ride because he needs, uh, he needs a helper. He needs a helper uh, that could tell somebody uh, how good the Lord has been to them. Uh, he needs a helper, somebody who can sing Zion songs uh, and turn the church over and over. He needs a helper, somebody who can pray, uh, pray so hard that you see by coming down from the ceiling. Uh, he needs somebody, uh, somebody who can help him. Uh, he needs somebody who's in darkness, uh, who can shine a marvelous light. Uh, he needs somebody who, who got blinded eyes, uh, who can come to the blind man, uh, give him a word of deliverance, uh, that his eyes might be open, that he might become a help of the Lord our God. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord, the Lord needs 
some helpers. Are you willing? Are you able to be a helper of the Lord? Jesus on Palm Sunday. Yeah. On this Palm Sunday. Woo, Jesus. That's what Jesus needs. <laughs> Jesus needs some helpers on this. On why you think he kept you? Huh? Why you think you ain't leaving with other folks they left with COVID? Why, why you think you're still here? Come on now. Uh, 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 uh. Why, why you think you're still alive? You're still alive. You're still alive. Because he kept you. He, he kept you here for you to do some service. He kept you here for you to do some work. He kept you here. So you can do something for somebody. You need to be able to do something. You need to be able to do something. He done kept you all this time. He kept you all this time. All this time he's kept you. Because it's just another day. That's all it is. It's just another day. But he kept it so you can be a helper yeah. unto him. It's just another day that the Lord he yeah. had kept me. Just another day that the Lord he had kept me. Another day whoo, that the Lord <laughs> He had kept me. I'm 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 so glad that the Lord He had saved me. Are you glad? Are you glad that the Lord done saved you? Are you glad that the Lord has set you aside? Are you glad that the Lord has sanctified you? Are you glad? Are you glad? I'm so glad that the Lord He has saved me. I'm I'm so glad.